Hi there guys, today we're out and about and you wonder why that is. Well today I'll be showing you how to put together one of those traveling sprinklers. Hi and welcome back to yet another 3 Minute Thursday. I'm Matt and today I'll be showing you how to put together one of those traveling sprinklers and how to set it up for the best performance. Let's have a look what's in the box. Bit of cardboard here, we don't need that. The instruction menu here, put that aside, we need that later. Got a ramp here. We've got the sprinkler arm mount here and the arms. and a traveling sprinkler. Now first start off by mounting the arms. For that you want to screw in the arms to the side here. Make sure you only hand tighten these and repeat that on the other side as well. Once you've finished with that, you mount it on the actual traveling sprinkler. Now this is where we need the wrench. Now with the wrench we want to get into, into the mechanism in here. And now we can hand tighten the arms like so. Now the other little thing you see in the box here goes on the top here and obviously that's just for aesthetics but it looks much cooler that way. All right. Now it's really important that you set up the arms properly. Now at the moment they're pointing up. You want to twist them anti-clockwise so the arms can actually rotate clockwise. Now the further you twist the arms down, the faster the arms will spin and the further they spray. Don't twist them too far or you actually will spray the sprinkler itself. So the further you move the arms up, the slower the arms will rotate. So find an angle somewhere in between that works for you. Now at the back here of the sprinkler you've got the gears of them. And they've got H for high, N for neutral and L for low. If you put it into high, now that's really good if you want to have it travel very fast for a light sprinkle. If you put it in neutral, it stays stationary and it only sprinkles around the area it reaches. And if you turn it into low, now it goes very slow and it's idea for a deep soak. Now at the bottom of the sprinkler here, you've got the little stopper here. What that does is if it runs over the ramp here, it pushes down the stopper disable the gears and will stop the sprinkler from running and therefore watering. Basically it goes over the top here, keeps running and sits on here with a stopper. Now let me connect the guy up to a garden hose and see how it works. Now we set up the hose in a big loop here so the tractor can run along the hose. We've got the ramp here so we want to put that wherever we want the sprinkler to stop in the ground and we will connect the hose onto the sprinkler now. All we got to do now is place the sprinkler onto the garden hose like so and make sure that the front wheel sits on the garden hose. So all that's left to do now is turn the tap on and watch the guy run along the hose. There you have it guys, you successfully assembled one of those traveling sprinklers. Let us know in the comments how you go, or if there's anything else you would like us to cover in one of the next 3 Minute Thursdays. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you smart gardeners in the next video.
Now a finishing touch, and really important for the tractor to know where to go, is the steering wheel. So you're putting that guy on here, and the tractor's ready to go.